Here with Coach Nims as the uh, Demons get ready to head down to BR this uh, this Sunday to take on Southern, and uh, we're going to talk about that game in a second. But uh, Coach, it's been a couple days since uh, that game against uh, Southern New Orleans. Um, what have been your biggest takeaways, maybe that you've seen with the team, the girls since then, uh, and what do you think? What are your what are your biggest takeaways from that game? I just think that game allowed everybody to kind of gain some confidence. Uh, continue to learn and play with one another, um, you know, and allow them to kind of grow together on the court. I think our, our camaraderie and bench energy was tremendous, um, you know, even once I circled back and kind of watched. So I think um, some of the intangibles were really able to come together in that game. And, and, but for the biggest thing is being able to execute some of our offense, being able to switch some things up, um, but everybody being able to, to kind of contribute. Um, and I think that's going to give us confidence moving into, you know, the next few games. You said after that, uh, you know, you hope that they, the girls take away the the idea, the thoughts, the uh, the confidence of, hey, we can score like this if we, you know, execute and do our things. Is that still the biggest thing you hope they've taken away from that game? Yeah, I think it's going to be something that we need to see the ball go in the bucket. You know, we talk a lot that you gain confidence in practice, so you don't gain it in games. But on the flip side of that, obviously, they put the time into practice. They did, and they were able to see that thing go down. Um, you know, they were able to earn the water burger. There was just true excitement about the game and about everybody being able to contribute. We had people excited about being able to create some assists. Um, you know, we had kids step up. We had kids go 50% from the three point line. Um, so I just think that overall confidence in themselves is going to be huge because when they have confidence in themselves, it's going to transfer into our t entire team having confidence. Um, and you got to have that, especially with the style of play that we have. You know, we, we need to be scoring up in the 70s. Uh, for our style of offense and so I think that that just gives them that that little bit of extra that you know We can do it and, and it's not so lofty uh, Talk to me a little bit about Sharna's play the past uh, couple weeks uh, four straight double-figure games I mean she's shooting cr really well from beyond the arc as well. I think three or more in each of those four games uh, What have you seen from her over these last uh, this last stretch? Um, I, I, I would say continued confidence and, and, and truly some more buy-in um, we talked after the Nebraska game. I think maybe she only had seven shots. And I told her, I said, you're, you're an elite shooter. You're an elite player. Um, you can't walk off the court with at least not shooting 15 times. You know, that's bare minimum, but you need to connect and, and shoot 15 times. Obviously, you're not going to make every single one of those. Um, but when you're an elite shooter, you have to shoot with the understanding you might miss 10. But if you make five threes, that's pretty solid. That's a pretty solid night. And so just continuing to get her to grow in confidence in herself and understanding that we're okay with her letting it fly early, um, being able to maybe pass up in the middle of a possession what we are running if, if someone's a foot off of her, you know. And so, but I think from the Nebraska game, she's gotten more confidence and taken more shots. And obviously the more shots she takes at being such a good shooter She's gaining confidence throughout the rest of the throughout the rest of these games. So excited about that. I thought she's done a nice job on the defensive end as well. Um, you know, so I just think her overall game is definitely growing. Uh, I think her her and uh, Giselle both you know highly uh, ranked in the you know at least the Southland statistically and in, in three point uh, made three point percentage and all that sort of stuff. So having that part of the offense working well right now what does that do for the team as a whole well i think one it gives everybody confidence you know you have some go-to kids but it takes maybe pressure off somebody else but also um you know the bigger and better our post play gets we're going to really be able to have that true inside out game spread the floor a little bit um and because of how people will will guard different position it's going to create opportunities for other players to knock down some shots too um, and we have a, a good amount of kids that can really let it fly from the three-point line they've put in a tremendous amount of work uh, we have a player that shot 10,000 extra shots in the course of a month. Um, you know, so anytime you're putting in that kind of work, it's going to fall. But right now, they're able to kind of grow into the game, grow in, settle in, uh, because Sharna and Giselle have just played so outstanding in the last six games. Moving into Sunday's game against Southern, uh, a brutal schedule for Southern so far, and we'll continue after this. I think they have two games against non-Power 5 teams this year, but what have you seen from their first five games against the likes of those, those Power 5 teams? Um, it's, it's funny you ask. That's something we're going to have to really share with our girls because they're 0-5, but they're playing uh, an incredibly hard schedule, um, and they're playing those teams really close. They're in the game in the third quarter. They're in the game down to the fourth quarter, um, and they're competing at a high level. I think what's 
probably the most impressive about Southern is just their ability to play it quick. Um, but that quick maturity and that quick understanding, if they don't have it, they're going to run their offense. They run their stuff very, very well. Um, and so it's, it's about the discipline and they're an incredibly disciplined team. And I believe that's why they've been playing so well, um, with those power five teams. Um, you know, so it's going to be a really big matchup. Um, I think their, their style of basketball is, is, uh, incredibly disciplined. It's, it's not methodical because it's not slow. It's just, they run it well, they run their defense well. Um, and you can tell that it's, it's a good collective unit. Um, coach does a really nice job there. So it's going to be a very tough game. Yeah, a team that uh, went on and won the SWAC tournament last year. So uh, definitely a, a game that you have to come in, prepare, and, and like we talk about time and time again, come out sharp, come out strong and fast, and, and get into our rhythm of basketball. Yeah, definitely no opportunities to come out slow and not be ready in that first quarter. Um, they're way too good of a team. Um, and, you know, they, they, they have zero let up, um, just smart basketball players, and they got some very skilled scorers, um, you know, that we're going to have to stay intently locked in on that scout. All right. Thanks so much, Coach. Thank you. Borkham.